Hello YouTube, this is MK Masters and today or, I'm gonna show you how to set up your easy cap. Alright. I just got this thing yesterday and I figured out how to do it like right out of the package. Alright, these are the things that you need. An easy cap, right there, obviously. Three RCA Y splitters. This is still the same thing, it's just not a Y. They're all basically the same thing. And a double ended male, all male RCA cable. Oh shit. Alright. You also need your laptop or netbook computer. I'm using a netbook, and a lot of people really think that netbooks aren't capable of doing like big programs. I play Halo, Worms. I use a lot of programs on this thing, and that's good. <laughs> All right, last thing you'll, well, oh, two things you'll need: a TV and a console of your choice. But I have a Wii. It's badass. All right. The first thing that you want to do is. Get your splitters. As you can see me from this angle. Okay, awesome. All right. Plug each splitter into the RCA slot. All right. Should look something like that. Next thing you want to do is get your Wii or PS3 or Xbox 360 component cable and connect it like how you would. Plug each of these, plug yellow to yellow, one slot of them, white to white, and red, red to red. Alright. Then what you want to get your double-ended RCA cable. Basically, do the same thing: red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white. Let's see, yellow to yellow, where's what? White and red to red. All right. Simple process. And what you want to do is get the other end of the RCA cable and get your easy cap with it. Let me set my camera down. Alright, same thing you want to do. Red, red. White, white. Yellow, yellow. You don't really need the S video thing. Alright, then. Plug your easy cap. I can do this. Right, plug your easy cap right here into one of the USB slots. Then it should flash green when it's connected. Since this is like a ten and a half, no, ten inches screen, how to change the screen resolution? If you have a netbook, the way you would do that is push FN and F4 right there on the screen with four little arrows right, now what you want to do is open up the software your EasyCap came with you lead or you led I don't know she looks something like that when it pops up click movie wizard for it to completely load. Alright, there you go. What you want to do is click on capture. Alright. It's going to be black because I have like nothing on right now. Let me turn on my Wii console. Mm. 
There you go. It's connected. Alright, but if it does if it does not connect for you, then here's how to fix it. If you're in America, USA, go to capture options and make sure capture audio and capture to library are both checked. Click OK. Options. Then go to options again and go to video and capture audio. Capture pro property settings. Alright. Under the tab capture, make sure you have selected DVD and speed 100%. Then you, what you want to do is click on advanced and make sure you have clicked DVD NTSC 720 by 480. Alright. Then where it says aspect ratio here, click aspect ratio 16.9 over here. Where it says video bitrate over here, we want to click constant bitrate. I know it's a blurry, but right here. And the bitrate value 6,000. The audio, MPEG audio, mode is stereo. And for byte rate, bit rate, you can either pick 128 or 224. <clears throat> and then I just click OK. Source. You want to go. Then you want to. After you're done with that advance, go to the tab where it says source right here. Then where it says video input source, click video composite. Then TV system. If you live like somewhere else, I think it'll, it's PAL. But if you live like in USA, it's NTSC. For the audio, USB audio interface because that's where it's come from. Easy cap USB. And that's it. It should pop up. You should be seeing what you see here. Oh, Alright, here. And there. Whoa, it's too much. That's better. There. Right there. <coughs> There's the Wii Remote. Of course, it looks like it will be lagging in the computer. That's why you need the RCA splitter, so you can actually play smooth on the TV. You'll play better here, and you'll record it here. Then when you're ready to, to record, go under here and click Capture Video. And you're done. Very simple process. I mean, like six videos. And I put two of them on YouTube. They're quality test of Super Smash. Can you tell me how I did on those? And how the quality looks and audio. I'll try to fix it if it's bad. And that's basically it. Goodbye.